The Rural Renewable Energy Alliance, or REAL, is striving to address rural poverty, foster energy security, and reduce greenhouse gas emissions by breaking down the financial and informational barriers to the widespread use of solar energy. By manufacturing state-of-the-art solar air heating systems locally and installing them on low-income families' homes, REAL endeavors to make solar energy accessible to people of all income levels. REAL is a nonprofit organization, and our mission as a nonprofit is to make solar energy accessible to people of all income levels. REAL has been in existence uh, as a 501c3 nonprofit since uh, 2000. We actually uh, came into existence uh, originally. Jason Edens, our founding director, um, was actually working as a teacher at the time, and he um, brought students out, refurbished old collectors, and put them in the homes of low income families that couldn't afford solar. But one of the things that definitely helped create REAL was the fact that I was on energy assistance myself for many years growing up and continued to struggle with the cost of, of home heating like many of us actually do. And we actually found a solar heating system in a dumpster in the Twin Cities. And we took it out of the dumpster and it was still in decent condition and we repaired it and we installed it on our home and it saved our families such a significant amount of money in energy of course that that was kind of one of the aha moments. The impact that REAL has had on communities has been extensive for the sheer fact that it, it um, helps lower income households, lower their utility costs, and that in turn increases the dollars that they have in their pockets to spend within the community, and that helps the overall community itself economically. We install solar heating systems on the homes of low income households. And the way we define low income is whether or not a family will qualify for energy assistance. Essentially, the concept of delivering solar heat to low income families has been, has been very much adopted in the state of Minnesota. The state of Minnesota now is basically the only state in the union that is incorporating solar space heat into the energy assistance and weatherization program. Here in Minnesota, there, there, we don't have coal. We don't have natural gas, we don't have a propane, we don't have oil. None of that stuff originates in Minnesota. So all of the, all of the expenditure that we, uh, you know, all of the money that we expend to heat our homes in Minnesota is basically money that leaves this state. And so it's one of the things that we're really trying to do is, is create green jobs in Minnesota and keep money in Minnesota circling around in Minnesota. You know, if I were to ask someone, what's propane gonna cost in 10 years or fuel oil in 10 years, who knows? In fact, the only thing we know is that it's going to cost more. And so by stabilizing our energy costs through the use of solar thermal, we know that our low-income neighbors and our low-income communities will, will be at less risk um, if there's an energy spike or an energy crisis. Organizations like the Clean Energy Resource Teams and a, a number of other collaborations have been just super important to the, the success of our organization. I mean, CERTS has been groundbreaking, I think, across the country in terms of what they've been able to establish in Minnesota for renewable energy and for a, um, a center for people to, a way for people to connect who are interested in renewable energy, a way to um, communicate with other people what, what is going on in their, in their region, in their area. Um, CERTS has been fantastic for real. We got another grant through CERTS to do an installation um, more in our area, in the Pine River area, at the transfer station. And that was a 10 collector system. It was a larger system using larger collectors in the St. Louis County garage. But a similar scenario, you know, you have this wide open south facing wall with no windows, you know, no doors typically. And so it's a really great application for solar air heat. The building is used during the day when you're getting the solar air heat gain. So. And this is a, a public facility where a lot of people go to, of course, uh, bring their, their solid waste and the recyclables and that type of thing. So it's a very visible location in the county. When we're out on installs, it's a pretty positive feeling. Um, I mean, interacting with some of the, the um, families that we're doing our solar assistance program for is um, it's pretty inspirational. 
Um, a lot of them get really excited about the systems. Um, it's something that they wouldn't normally have access to. So for us to come out and dedicate, you know, two or three people dedicate a full day to installing and setting up a, a you know, multi-thousand dollar system for them is pretty exciting for them. Showing them how it works is always a pretty fun part of the day at the very end, walking them through the controls and everything like that, seeing how they get kind of excited about what the system's going to do for them. What we're going to do today is we're going to be installing two solar uh, air heating panels on this particular structure behind me. So we arrive at a job site, having prepared all of the parts for the job and knowing, having done a site analysis, making sure that the site has adequate solar exposure and so on. And we arrive at the job site and then what we do is we'll typically on a retrofit, we'll cut off the siding of the house and then we'll basically just cut two holes in the house so we have a supply hole and a return side and then mount the collectors and hook up the ductwork and the fans. Um, backdraft dampers that keep, the, it's essentially like a unidirectional door that keeps uh, any um, air from coming back into the house when the collectors are cold at night, for instance, or when you don't want any heat during the summertime, those doors, those, they, they close. And we'll be putting a fan in there. And so the fan is basically what runs the system. It just recirculates air from the house um, through the collectors, scrubs the heat off of the collectors when there's heat to give in the collectors and when the homeowner has turned the thermostat and is calling for heat. So when that happens, they turn that, they, they turn that up and the fan kicks on and it pulls the, the, uh, the heat into the house. The installation on a retrofit takes us about a day and a half. And on a new construction like this habitat job here, um, it takes less than a day usually. Number of people that have given us more hard data to you know this has saved me three hundred dollars this year. Um, some people have, have said that the combination between weatherization and solar assistance uh, that they've they've saved fifty percent of their heating bill annually. 